Hey Matt, I bet I can throw this further than Obama. Yeah, I think that was farther. Welcome to Hotline TV, I'm Matt Gottlieb. And I'm Amy Walter. Well, if I'm here with Matt Gottlieb, it means only one thing. It's math day. Oh, I love it. We get to use the TI-83 calculator. Best calculator. It is. It's fantastic. Retail somewhere around, probably for inflation. This was, what, the 2004 version? Something like that. To Texas Instruments, bucks. friend of the show. All right, big friend of the show. Thank you, TI. All right, I'm going to do some number crunching and you're going to tell me what those numbers mean. This is in reference, by the way, to the newest Hotline Diageo poll. That's right, Hotline Diageo poll out on the hotline today, as well as yesterday. Today was healthcare, yesterday was economy. Okay. Okay. Do, do, do. Mm -mm -mm. Is the number is... Is that calculator making noise? It is. <laughs> it's saying do, 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 do. Okay, the number is... 15. 15. 15. What does that number mean? That sounds an awfully lot like the percentage of, of uh, Obama's approval drop among independents. Okay. That's not such a good thing. In fact, haven't we seen this across the board in this poll, this July poll, that he dropped tremendously on, across every, on every question among independents? Sure. Uh, he had some trouble direction of U.S. We saw that drop among independents and overall favorability dropped 10. Uh, his handling of health care dropped 10. Handling of the economy dropped 8. I mean, it, it just took a hit across the board on all the important issues. Yeah, the, it seems as if that group has kept his approval rating up above the 60s was his strong support, 60% plus from independents. Now that that's gone, he's sort of doomed to sit in the 50s. And if it drops any lower, he could be in negative some serious term. trouble. Yeah. Some serious trouble. But, okay. yeah, that contributed to negative drops across the, all those issues overall. All right. All right, now I'm going to add up another number. Hold on, let me look, look, look at uh, these numbers. Oh, yeah, well, okay. All right, now I'm going to do a health care number. Okay, 25%. 25%. Could that be the percentage of voters that think health care reform will affect them positively? Oh, yeah. That was, to me, that was one of the most damning numbers in the health care questionnaire mm -hmm. back from the Diageo hotline poll. Most people... They're not even saying they don't think it will affect them, which would be fine if they felt neutral about it. But most people are saying, I either feel neutral or I feel like it's going to impact me negatively rather than seeing it as a positive thing. Sure. And on top of that, you know, almost three quarters of, of RVs think that it's going to, it's likely to impact them. So, I mean, you're, you're, so people think it's going to impact them. And when they do right. think about it, they think it's going to impact them negatively well, or not positively. It's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a net negative because it's 25% positive, 39% think it will affect them negatively, 29% uh, don't think it will affect them all that much. Right. So if you are Barack Obama right now trying to push a health care plan through Congress, if I see those numbers as a member of Congress, I'm thinking, hmm, what benefit do I get actually for voting for something that my constituents don't even think is going to be a good thing, right? So that seems to me to be quite the conundrum. There was also an Ipsos poll out today asking the question about the public option that showed a very s small percentage believed that, I think it was 30, 35, 38 percent believed that a public option would actually help control costs. So, yes. so two of President Obama's strongest arguments, this is going to help you and your family, number one, and two, it's going to control costs, clearly not coming through for voters. All right. What else do you have in that? All right, hold on. Calculator. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I have the number. It's a negative fourteen. It's amazing how these things can do that. Well, that that would be that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Negative fourteen. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is something we touched on before, and it's a drop in the direction of the United States. Uh, people right direction, wrong track. Dropped fourteen percent overall, and dropped twelve percent uh, among independents uh, since our previous poll. In the June poll, we had it uh, the right side up, forty-five, forty-three for the first time in. It, this year, uh, but now we're back towards January levels. Yeah, so the right direction we're on track since January has only been headed up, right? So, so mm -hmm. Looking more optimistic, and for the first time, it now took a pessimistic yes. turn. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Especially among independents, as you stressed earlier. I oh, know. Those independents, they're getting, they get a lot of business. All right, here at the hotline. Okay, um, I'm going to throw out another number because I think this one is fun. I'm going to go over to this number here. Um, 
Yeah. Do, 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 okay, I'm looking at some some numbers here that say mm, the number right now 17 is eight, 8 6 8 8 27 8 27 That sounds a lot like Mark Sanford's National Faith on Faith. Is it me? Were you a little bit surprised that 50% folks that we interviewed said they'd never heard of him. You know, Am I that in the bubble? It feels like he was everywhere but he was for a, two weeks. He was everywhere in the news for us for two weeks, but the same weeks Michael, Michael Jackson passed away oh, and you know, the news, news had other concerns. So should him. we have tested Michael Jackson instead? I'd be very curious to see what his breakdown was among Republicans and the Democrats. Next, yeah, sorry, you stay tuned to the next Diageo hotline poll. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> we, only, we only deal with the most important Mm -hmm. public figures out there. All right, anything else that we should add? Because I my computer now is turned off, this fancy oh. computer. Anything else that you think we should note before we should, we, we should we probably sign touch off? on the stimulus and the drug for the Yes, we should. The stimulus. Um, you know, last month we had fifty two percent so they thought it was be com had confidence it would be uh, turn around the economy now it's only thirty nine percent. And you know on top of that it dropped fifteen percent among independents. And Obama's overall approval rating on handling the economy dropped as well. Yes. So it seems to me the message is one Obama honeymoon is over to the, um, the sort of mangled pottery barn line, but he, um, he didn't break the economy, but he owns it, mm -hmm. right? And voters don't really necessarily like what they see. And finally, when we're talking about this president trying to spend political capital to get some of his priorities done, whether it's health care or cap and trade, his political capital is starting to run out. All right, that, that in a nutshell, all these numbers, but you can find them all in that Good, very important work done right here on this computer on the hotline. Until next time, I'm Amy Walter. And I'm Matt Gottlieb. Thanks for watching.